play itself. The easiest moves for your opponent to find under time pressure are captures and checks. So don't go for a bunch of captures and checks when your opponent doesn't have any time to think. That's really good advice. Um, it makes it much easier when you throw in captures because with the increment that these games are being played with, yep. you can actually restore some time on your clock quite quickly yep. if you just initiate a bunch of trades. Of course, right. if it's a winning trade, do it. But um, don't just trade for the sake of trading uh, when your opponent is low on the clock. Well, we have a match, Robert. Wesley strikes back, and our uh, predicted odds to win the match still have Wesley so higher right now. You see that blue bar creeping where it started around 69%, similar to where Levon Aroni was favored against uh, Fabiano to start. Um, so that's... Uh, that's what we have at the score, the actual score graph that shows where they started only a couple games in. So, um, all right. Well, uh, well, we'll keep our eye on that. Here we have a our first kind of semi semi Catalan here. Um, what yeah, is this? It is a Catalan. It's, it's, a, it's an English Neo Catalan, I think, for those who speak Matrix. <laughs> well played there with that joke. Uh, but you know the idea from Black's point of view is that with his early b5, yes, you have bishop b7 in, but you really want to play for eventually c5. Now c5 is never that easy to get in because when you um, do play c5, you have to worry about the b5 pawn. So if you play b4 as Black, well, now you have to worry about your pawns being overextended on the queen side. But that's exactly what White wants. If you go b4, they might uh, pieces have control the c4 square, and there's still this backward pawn on c6. So that's why a6 is played, so c5 isn't, once again, an option. Now, d4, if you go c5 too soon, there will be consequences with the queen staring down at the c5 square. And this is the tension that goes on in these openings. With um, Wesley just plays knight on e5, saying you're not getting c5 in, thanks to my yep. bishop on g2, and your bishop on b7. If you keep trying to play for c5, well, maybe I can go e4 myself, gain more space in the center. Of course, I can just castle and uh, figure out the specifics in a bit. So. Okay, so knight d7 play. Sometimes you can sacrifice the e pawn by knight e4. Yeah. Knight I was just going to uh, say, and the reason is after knight e5, you have things like either knight c5 immediately or bishop f4 and then, but this is uh, an awkward position for black to deal with the threats here and not wanting to, to give up all the dark squares. Yeah, bishop f4 is also a very good looking option with the castle. So he's giving up the pawn. Yep. I think it's a good, good decision, especially because Wei Yi has shown himself vulnerable to time trouble in these mm -hmm. early games. So yes, far. Yes, Wei is up two and a half, one and a half, but his time situation hasn't always been ideal uh, playing in complicated positions. So knight takes e5, I think, could get him into a, a world of trouble after just the simple bishop f4, as you had mentioned earlier. Yep. Well, for those of you just joining us, we had a little bit more viewers come in recently. Remember, this is the 2018 Speed Chess Championship. This is our third match of the year. And uh, we've, we've had uh, some big names already, but this one has proven to be one of the more exciting ones, at least at this point. So don't go anywhere. And I wanted to tell everybody that have an updated take on the, on the uh, score graph there, our fault there. The, uh, that looks a little more fun to see some colors intermingling there, like they're dancing on the graph. And of course, that's the actual score of the match progression so far. But we'll keep you up to date, given how much it's bouncing around. Wesley so starting out as a big favorite. And now things look to be about even already. Wei Yi was somebody who we thought would do well in the 5-1 uh, the portion. Yeah, no, he's clearly a talented blitz player. We, I sort of expected it simply because he's young. And I just thought that, okay, you're young, you tend to play more blitz. So I was expecting big things out of him at that time control. What I wasn't sure about is his bullet skills. And what I got word of is that he's been playing a lot on chess.com in the last month, clearly getting ready for the match and he played 200 games this past month every single one has been bullet and some have even been one plus one which is the time control in this format so he's yep. clearly been gearing up to play wesley so in this position um really liking wesley's position we talked about this idea before knight coming to e4 taking the c5 square under control the d6 square of course if black plays c5 now hoping that um you know, you can't take on c5. I do have the move knight g5, a very thematic well, I was going to say knight f6 check, but I guess knight g5 is the more thematic. Knight g5, knight g5 just wins material, because after knight g5, you take with the bishop on g5, I take on b7, and you have a bishop on g5 hanging, your knight on b7 is a problem, so white just simply goes up material there. Ah, uh, okay. Very nice. 
And queen c7 doesn't help because bishop f4, you're still not really wanting to take on e5 with that knight, because then I think white can just take on e5, play rook d7, which is another thematic solution to sacrificing this pawn for white. So bishop f4 makes complete sense, threatens your idea with knight f6 check. Um, so bishop f4 here is just good. You know a lot about thematic ideas, Robert. You know, I've been trying. You always make fun of me for not knowing openings, but I, <laughs> I do know, you know, I, I don't like the mem specific memorization, though I acknowledge how important it is, but some of these ideas are you know, very important to be aware of. And here is that look at the seventh rank. There's a bishop on b7 and a bishop on e7. If the queen is not on c7 and the rook can get to b7, there are two of them under attack. And here's bishop mm -hmm. before being played. And so it, now this knight is very ready to come to d6 square. Yep. So if you play rook to d8 or rook to e8, I can just throw my knight into d6. And black is really just cramped, desperate for some space. And once this knight does get to d6, oh, okay, so c5, knight f6 check has got to be lights out. I mean, Knight f6 idea... check is already looking... Yeah, and, and Wesley doesn't take much time to go for it. So as you've been pointing out, all the thematic ideas that should have worked. My idea only worked because uh, Wei Yi blundered, but hey, knight f6 check looks like a lot of fun. You take with discoveries, then you're going to take on g7 and just blow open Black's king here, everybody. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, problematic, because you have to move your queen, say, to c8 to give your bishop on b7 protected, and then just pawn takes g7, as you mentioned. Okay, there's no clear knockout blow quite yet, but yeah. even if material were equal, that the control over the d file gives white a huge plus anyway. So that's why this position is quite so bad for black. And you just take on g7, take on b7, go rook d6 or rook d1. Okay, this doesn't help because yeah. I think you can take play on queen g7 f5. first anyway. Any... I think queen, queen f5 here just. Queen f5 would... immediately? Well, I think ah. queen f5, the idea is you're going to take on d. Knight. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Really strong, everybody. Taking f4 loses a piece because of the skewer of the queen and bishop. And if you have to protect the knight, it means moves like. Am well, I, am take I... on d7. You take yeah. on d7 and then play queen g5, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, look at this, everybody. Something like rook to rook to d8 to guard it. We take on d7, no matter how you can. Oh, he's going to miss it. Queen to g5, followed by queen h6. Nothing like you and I predicting a mating net that comes to fruition, Robert. It feels good, man. <laughs> it feels great. It feels I great. Mean, oh, Wesley is just on Wait, top. Wait, he might just that. resign on that one. Yeah, he does. That, that was a phenomenal show. Oh, Come along to Simon.